Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and do a comparison between the Google Pixel 5a and the Samsung Galaxy S10 and see which one you should pick up for the money. Now I'll definitely tell you, I mean, whichever one you want to buy, you can get them from the links down below. You can also help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can definitely see that the Samsung Galaxy S10, a little bit of a smaller phone, even though there's still a lot of similarities between them. On the front of the Samsung Galaxy S10, you have a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display, and it's a really good panel. I've said for a long time, it's 1440p, inbuilt fingerprint sensor, the display, hole punch camera, you know, probably the curved skies like this is one of the best phone screens still even though it doesn't have 120 hertz or anything it's one of the best screens i've still ever seen on any of these phones without a doubt now with the pixel 5a that's a little bit of a bigger 6.34 inch oled panel now this one has a lower resolution so this one's 1080p so not as high as the resolution of the galaxy s10 and i don't think this is as good of a screen as the s10 either this definitely has one of the best advantages of being that you know massive size display bigger than the S10, but it's just not as good of, you know, visually appealing display as the S10 in my opinion. I think both phones are great, but the, you know, Pixel 5a just isn't as good. Now on the bottom, USB Type-C ports, they both have headphone jacks as well. The S10 does have Samsung DeX, which is really cool. Thinness and thickness between the two. The Galaxy S10 is actually feeling like a thinner phone overall, which is really good to see. And on the back, glass back on the Galaxy S10 metallic frame, I guess, on the Google cool Pixel 5a, but it really feels more like matte than you know, metal in my opinion, triple camera setup on the S10, dual camera setup on the Pixel 5a, and that really covers it up on the outside. But there's more than that that meets the eye. Both have IP certification. The Galaxy S10 has wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The Pixel 5a does not have either one of those things. So that's kind of a sad thing. You also have a micro SD card slot on the Samsung Galaxy S10 as well. The Pixel 5a does not have any of that. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You're definitely getting more I.O. and more functionality and features from the S10. And in the used market, these things are much cheaper than the Pixel 5a as well. You can get this for like less than 300 in some places. The Pixel 5a, it's not really there. It's 450 brand new. However, brand new, this was like I think an 899 or 849 or something like that. So there were some differences there as well. So in terms of the outside, that pretty much covers it up. There's also a little bit difference in the battery life. The Pixel 5a has a massive 4600 million power battery, which is crazy big, definitely huge. It's definitely bigger as well than the 3400 million power battery on the S10. Now I've always had really good battery on the S10, but there's just something about the Pixel 5a with that massive size battery that's just crazy in my opinion. So definitely the Pixel 5a is the winner here, but the S10 was also good as well. So that covers it up there. There's also a difference in the software. The S10, it, although it did get an extra year of software update or it's going to get the next version of Android, the Android 12 update, there's really not going to be a situation where the Pixel 5a isn't as good as the S10 in software. Yes, One UI has a lot of features and everything, but the Pixel side with stock Android and you know updates for a very long time is definitely going to be the better phone for a majority of people. I like the stock Android approach. I like these type of phones. And this thing, once it's done getting software support officially, it's still going to get custom ROMs and all that stuff as well. So that's another massive thing to keep in mind. In my opinion, software definitely goes for the Google Pixel 5a as well. So that covers it up there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The Samsung Galaxy S10 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset with 8 gigs of RAM, but the Pixel 5a has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset with 6 gigs of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, there we go. Let me go and curl the apps in the background. And with the S10, there we go. And with the Pixel 5a, there we go. Let's do phone calls, 3, 2, 1. And the S10, almost instantaneous in a way. The S10 is here. The Pixel 5a is here. Messages, 3, 2, 1. And there we go. That covers that one up. Let's do Play Store, 3, 2, 1. And I think this one is good. Apparently, we're offline, which doesn't make any sense at all because I was just online. So let's go and hop out of there. Let's do Camera, 3, 2, 1. And about the same thing. I don't think there's that big of a difference here. Hopping out of this one, let's get into all these third-party apps that we have. Let's do Bofa, 3, 2, 1. And there we go. Hopping out of this one, let's get into Instagram, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Let's hop out of this one. Let's do Twitter, 3, 2, 1. And definitely the S10 was faster there. Let's do Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And the S10, again, is the faster one there. Let's get into some gameplay and see if there's a difference. So I don't really think there's going to be that big of a difference, but I guess we'll see. And about the same. I don't really think there was that big of a difference there. Hopping out of this one, let's do Quizlet, 3, 2, 1. And the S10, it again, was the faster one. 
Let's do Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. I think the S10 was a little bit faster. Let's go ahead off with Fruit Ninja, 3, 2, 1. And definitely with the Pixel 5a, you're getting faster animation, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens, but I, I think the Pixel 5a, yep, the Pixel 5a was the faster one. The S10, slightly behind. I don't know which one is making the sounds, though, it's very annoying. And, I mean, I can definitely tell you, even in terms of those ones, those small few little apps that we tested, I'm getting the vibe that the S10 is probably the faster one when it comes down to, which is pretty surprising. I mean, whenever you see apps like this in a comparison, it's always interesting to see the differences. And in my opinion, it does look like the S10 is still the faster one in some areas. Now, I am offline here, which is kind of throwing me off. So there must be an issue with it because I was just online before. But it does seem like it's a faster phone overall. So I think with the you know Galaxy S10, I think this one is still the faster phone. The Pixel 5a is still a very good phone and very fast. It makes me excited about the Pixel 6 though, because that one's going to have you know its own chipset. So we'll see what happens there, but that pretty much covers it up here. Let's go and hit on the cameras. Now with the Samsung Galaxy S10, this is a perfect phone. This is a great camera. You have a triple camera setup on the back. So a wide angle lens, which is the standard lens, a telephoto lens, which allows you to zoom in a ton into a photo, and an ultra wide sensor, which allows you to zoom out in a lot of photo. Now, the best thing about this camera is that all these sensors are like almost perfect. They are great sensors. They look very good. They're still very competitive to even new flagships that are coming out. 4K60 on the back of the phone, but also 4K60 on the front of the phone as well. So this is a solid device in so many different ways. And for sure, I would definitely say this camera is better than the Pixel 5a. And it's a very solid camera. And I'm, in a, I'm a huge fan of the specific phone's camera. Now with the Pixel 5a, you're getting a, you know, a dual camera setup. So you're losing a lens going from a Galaxy S10, but you're keeping that ultra wide sensor, which is very, very good. I like ultra wide sensors. They are much better than telephoto lenses in my opinion. And I'm glad this thing has that ultra wide sensor. Now with this thing specifically, 4K 60 on the back, which is still good to see but this thing actually has only 1080p on the front which may be a bigger downgrade than some people may realize yes pixels have great photo processing and post processing of their photos but samsung's cameras are still very good and this one is a 2019 phone so the galaxy s10's camera i think is better overall than the you know pixel 5a because of the additional lenses but also the additional with that 4k 60 on the front of the galaxy s10 so in terms of a camera standpoint, the Galaxy S10 wins, but the Pixel 5a's photos are still extremely good. So now we are at the end of the video. Should you go and buy a Galaxy S10 or should you go and buy a Pixel 5a? Well, this is what I'll tell you. I think if you're trying to get a phone today and like, you know, you want a phone that's going to last you for a while, I think the Pixel 5a is probably the better way to go. Even though I was hyping up the Galaxy S10 this whole video and this one is a much better phone in some areas, the Pixel 5a makes more sense to me if you're somebody who wants to maintain a stable phone for, you know, the next three, four years. This phone just came out, even though it's a cheaper phone overall than the Samsung Galaxy S10, this thing is going to get sought for support for a much longer time. And that's something I have to kind of tell you guys. Custom ROMs are real for this thing. There's going to be stocks out for support for a while for this thing too. So you're really going to get, you're getting the best of both worlds with this phone. Now with the Galaxy S10, this one is more of a flagship device. You're getting, you know, pretty much the same IO as this with an addition of the micro SD card slot, which is great. I feel like this phone is faster and it has more RAM, which is really cool. The cameras on the Galaxy S10 are better. This thing is wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well, which is really awesome to see. The screen on this thing is arguably better. It's way better in my opinion. And you have Samsung Dex, you have, you know, a lot of different things. You're just getting the, probably one of the weirdest softwares out there. I don't think it's bad. But I'm not a fan of One UI, and you know, with stock Android, I'm a much bigger fan of that. So that's pretty much where I stand. If you guys want to pick up either one of these things, like I mentioned, the links are down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.